Today I'm gonna show you how to take a 2D image and give it that 3D look on Facebook. Hey there, my name is Ali. You can find me on Instagram at Photoshop Hustler and the link is gonna be in the description below. Also this photo, I'm gonna link it in the description below if you want to download it and try on it. Today I'm gonna show you how to take a 2D image like this one and transform it into 3D image. I chose this photo because as you can see here on the top left, we have a lot of foreground elements and the boy is in the foreground as well and then we have middle ground elements like this house and the bushes behind it and then we have the background which is the forest right there at the back. As you can see this image consists of the forest, the furthest thing at the back, then we have the house and combined with the bushes behind of it and the floor, then we have the boy and the color grading. The best thing in transforming things into 3D, which makes it so easy when you have things separated into different layers. Okay, I need you to keep in mind something is that when we have the black and the white, the white is the closest to the camera and the back is the furthest to the camera. And this is called creating a Z depth map. Okay, I'm gonna start by creating a new layer. The first thing I'm gonna add is the boy. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna, I merged everything on a new layer. So I'm gonna close that. Then I'm gonna try to sample where the boy is. I'm gonna hold control and click on the mask. So I get a selection of the boy. And then on this layer, I'm gonna take a gray color and paint with it. Okay, the boy is close to the background, close to the camera. So, it needs to be in a light gray color. So I'll go to image adjustments, brightness, contrast, and you can adjust how bright or dark you want the boy to be. I'll put him somewhere bright like this one. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the layer with the house and the bushes, but this one will need a little bit of work because the house is closer than the bushes. So I'm gonna take the polygonal lasso tool and I'm gonna deselect everything by holding Alt or Option. And I'm gonna deselect this area of the house. Like that. And I'm just gonna go all around. So now we only have the house. Now on a new layer on top of everything, <laughs> I'm gonna Alt Backspace, okay. If it's a bit too dark, let's give it a little bit of brightness, but it should not exceed the brightness of the boy. It should be a little bit darker than the boy. Okay, then I'm gonna select, where did it go? Okay, here, select this one again. And now I'm gonna add a layer, which is just a little bit darker, this color. Okay, so now we have, it's, it's gradual. So we have this one, the darkest, then the house, then the boy and everything looking great but as you can see here we have a floor and the floor is like here it's close to the camera and here it's far away from the camera so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open this layer i'm gonna control and click it so i have a selection of it then i'm gonna take my gradient and use a white color and with a low opacity i'm just gonna pull this one like that all the way from white to dark so that in this case that it will understand that this part is the closest to the background and as we go further it goes back into the background okay let's close the these three one let's add a new layer let's call this one forest at back okay and let me solo the forest at back layer this one by holding alt and clicking on this eye icon so now i only have this layer now i'm gonna take my polygonal lasso tool i'm gonna select the trees which are closed to the camera so I'm just doing a very quick selection here of the trees which are closed because here we have a variation we have things which are really close and another trees which are really further back so I'm just choosing the ones which are just close to the camera then I'll unsolo this one by holding alt click again so everything is opened again and now I'm gonna choose a dark gray color and alt backspace let me open them so we can see. So now we have everything set and done. The only thing we miss is 
the one which is furthest back i'm gonna paint with the same color then i'm gonna go to image adjustments brightness contrast sorry and i'll make it just a little bit darker so now this is called a z depth map the white is close to the background uh, to the cat to the camera and the dark is far away from the camera i guess these are too bright they need to be darkened a little bit because they are close to that one just a little bit so we have a good clean separation between this level and that level one last thing we missed is these trees here these are the closest to the camera because as you can see they are very blurry and when things get close to the camera they kind of get blurry so i'll just make a rough selection of them like that and on a layer on top of everything i'm gonna paint doesn't matter if it's too bright you can always go to brightness and contrast and this one should be brighter than almost anything in the photo. So now we made our selection. It's going to be like pieces of paper. But I want to actually work more on this selection and make it look even better. So I'm going to take the house. Now I'm only standing on the house layer. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dodge and burn. Dodge and burn. If you're on burn, things will get darker. So I'm going to stand on burn. And with a normal brush, I'm just going to burn these parts. That's too strong. I'm just going to burn the edges where things are going further back. Like that. And some here and there. So it gives it more of a 3D look. It's not just flat piece of paper. So I'm burning it here and there. So it's more of a 3D look let's do the same to the boy this is the boy let's go to the dodge and the parts which are close to the which are further away i'm just gonna very slowly make them slightly dark so it gives it more of the 3d look okay so now let me get what we have in total here this is the last image i guess, I guess. yes so this is last image and this is the z depth map what we're gonna do is i'm gonna save this one twice so i'll hold ctrl shift s or file save as and let's call this one boy in jungle but now you have to add underscore depth and this one i'm gonna save it just boy in jungle and now I'm gonna jump to Facebook. Let's go to my profile. Now I'll add photos or videos. I'm gonna sample these two photos and I'm gonna put them together. As you can see, it started reading that it's a 3D photo and it's already creating the 3D effect for us. Okay, now it's done. Can you see now when we start moving it around? It looks so much like it's 3D. And all you have to do is press share and it's out there. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.